This is a clip from our Saturday sessions called Meditate, Reflect, and Connect, where people who support this channel through Patreon and the Being Human podcast are invited every Saturday where I lead us through a different meditation technique, and then we chat amongst ourselves and support each other in a compassionate, completely non-judgmental space. If that seems interesting to you, you can go to patreon.com slash Marie, and you can sign up there, and I, I hope I get to see you this Saturday. Enjoy the clip. Today's theme. You notice how we start with a bit of a theme every Saturday. Last one was our resting place, practicing life through the jungle, coming to terms with what is rather than what should have been or could have been. This is all practice, my friends. It's all practice. The stress and pathology of needing to get somewhere and being somewhere else all the time stresses us out. So take your time and just be here for the moment. I know we have lots to do. I know there was lots that we did this week and lots that we're thinking about. Make an intention to make this a good practice for you. This hour is yours. Make it for you. Okay. So today's theme is how do we love ourselves? That's a tough one if we deal with anxiety or depression or self-esteem, overthinking, whatever label you want to put on it. All human beings have a, a difficult time loving ourselves because there's other people out there that are doing it so much better than us, aren't they? They got the better car, they got the better family, they got the better life, they got the better clothes, they got the better skin, and they don't have as much gray hair. Damn it. How am I supposed to love myself when there's so much better I could be and there's so much better out there and I have to change so much? We think that we have to change in order to love ourselves. So how do we know? In this meditation, we're going to come into the body and really recognize how much we do love ourselves. That's the point of this meditation and conversation today. How do we know? Because in our thoughts, that's not really the best way to know. We've tried the affirmations and all that stuff. We'll get to different techniques on affirmations. But it's not about what you think that proves that you love yourself. A lot of it is what you do that proves that you love yourself. So we're going to think about what we did through the week and what we continue to do that is literal proof that we do love ourselves. You came to this session. What does that mean? What does that mean? Who's the you that brought you here to this session? To learn something? To improve a little something? To get in touch with yourself? It looks like you were pretty close to feeling that, hey, maybe I need this. What part of you needed this? And how'd you recognize that? Did you shower? Did you put on clothes today? Did you go to bed at a reasonable time? Did you treat yourself to something? Did you go for a walk? Did you brush your teeth? These are the things that we don't really necessarily think that are acts of love towards ourselves, but that's exactly what they are. How do we take care of ourselves? That's exactly what you've all been doing. That's what we continue to do. So with that in mind, let's get comfortable. How do you show you love yourself? Get comfortable. What's the best way to love yourself? How do you want to sit? How do you want to lay down? Get cozy. Get comfortable. Hmm, you know what? I need more of a lean today. That's what I need. To love myself more, my back doesn't need to be so straight today. Hold up. Adjusting knob. Okay, there we go. I got my lean on. Okay. 